CEO Ronald Hickler from Creating the Difference. I want to talk to you about the four types of ball motion, and we're going to use EJ Taggart to demonstrate them. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to have him throw a bowling ball. He's actually going to throw that brand new VIP bowling ball. And we're going to have him throw it, and he's going to show you the angular type of ball motion. We use the true cut hand applied polish on this bowling ball. It allows the ball to get down the lane and make an angular move. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take that angular ball motion and we're going to make it more continuous. By doing that, we're actually going to sand that bowling ball with a 2000 grit True Cut sanding pad. And we're going to use True Cut conditioner with the power pad as a little bitty tip to show you how you can actually sand your bowling ball and keep it clean and have less mess. So here's the bowling ball. I've actually got a 2000 grit True Cut pad there. And actually, I want to show you his bowling ball is going to scan at that 50. 5300 plus number like it's supposed to. That's good. We'll take the True Cut conditioner. We'll spray it on the pad. Like so. And then we're just going to sand his ball ball. When you change the surface, you can change the reaction. And that's one of the things that's really, really important, especially when you're on tour, is being able to modify your surface. Now, luckily these guys, like EJ, they've got people that can do that for them, but when he's bowling tournaments by himself, he doesn't have a tour rep, he still needs to be able to alter the surface of his bowling ball when needed. And this is exactly how you would go about the process of doing that. All right. We went around twice and we got the top, so we'll flip the ball over. The cool thing about the conditioner is, is it actually allows the, the dust to go in and through the pad and then because we're doing it on a power pad, the residual will go around it, which is why you're not seeing a whole lot of mess on the bowling ball. Conditioner was made specifically for sanding pads. It's not a ball cleaner. It's made to extend the life of the sanding pad and give you a more consistent cut. And you can see right here, there's not a whole lot of dirt or mess left over. Just a much better way to clean and change the surface of your bowling ball. All right, so now we've done that, we'll pull this pad off. We'll wipe the ball off. Just to get any of that. Excess off. Then we'll take a quick peek here at the surface. There we go, right about 2,000. You can see it kind of bouncing around there, All right? So that's good. All right, EJ, we'll have you throw it again. And now you're gonna see a more rounded shape. The ball will hook more in the mid portion of the lane. It's gonna be an earlier type hook, nice and continuous. Very, very obvious that that ball hooked more in a continuous type shape as compared to the angular shape. And that is the second phase of ball motion, or second type of ball motion, continuous. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move that ball motion even earlier into the traction type ball motion. And you say, well, how do you do that? What we'll do is we'll take this ball down even further from the 2000 to the 500 grit. So I've actually got a 500 grit true cut pad right here. We'll do the exact same thing. Spray some conditioner on the pad. Remember, when you're sanding the ball, you've got to sand the entire surface of the ball. That's per USB-C rules. Same thing. And even at 500, even though we're really putting some teeth in this bowling ball now, using that conditioner helps because it doesn't, it doesn't allow you to have to have a big, a whole lot of mess. All right. Now we'll take the ball, flip it over again, take the pad, we'll spray it. And we actually show those ball motions right on the package. So as your 500 grit, 1000 grit is gonna give you that traction type motion, 1500, 2000, and 3000 grit is gonna give you that continuous motion. 
and then P5000D, which is 4,000 grit by hand, or 5,000 grit on a ball spinner, or the True Cut Hand Applied Polish Powered by Turtle Wax is at 5,500 grit. It's gonna give you that angular type shape. So the best part of this is it's relatively inexpensive and you can change your ball reaction a lot of different ways very, very quickly as we're being able to demonstrate to you here in real time. All right. So now that we've done that, we will once again, just wipe the ball off and you can see this bowling ball does not have a lot of residual dust, but she is definitely chunky. Definitely chunky. We'll let that dry just for a quick second. So this is gonna read as minus 700, of course, because it's 500 grit. So you can see that it's reading that at minus 700 grit number like it's supposed to. Obviously it's 500 grit. And now we'll have EJ demonstrate the traction type ball motion. You'll see this ball be extremely early and then lazy down. <laughs> you can see that, that is the shape of a traction ball. Very early. And then once it makes the move, it kind of goes straight after that. Now you say, man, well, you said there were four types of ball motion. You've only demonstrated three. So what's the fourth type? Well, the fourth type of ball motion is actually straight, but you don't really use these products to get it straight. So I'm gonna let EJ show you, even as much as that ball hooked, he can still throw it straight. So EJ will now demonstrate the straight or the fourth type of ball motion now. much straighter than that. It doesn't get much straighter than that. So now you've got a little bit more information about the four types of ball motion. You also now know how to create those types of ball motion. Did you notice that when he went to throw it straight, he broke his wrist back and threw the ball hard. That's what allowed him to get the bowling ball to go straight. You've got more information now. If you have any questions, consider joining our staff at ctbbowling.com. Click the little three lines, a little box will pop up. Click the staff, join our staff, and get more inside information about how to adjust your surface, as well as other tips about how to become a better bowler. With that being said, on behalf of EJ Tech, and I am CEO Ronald Hickler from Creating the Difference. Talk to you soon.